guys are able to slide out. Those are happy people. That's three days stuck on the mountain there. Another one coming in. So, hey guys, a little orientation. So, we're in the southeast part of the Kihelpna. You may even see the track going up the Kihelpna a bit. That's what I was hoping. Okay, so we're here at base camp. It's about 6.30. Gonna get up at seven. I mean, going to sleep at seven and get up at midnight. So we get five hours of sleep, if any. And then we head out to begin the climb. So, kind of getting ready for bed in this bright sunlight. That is so bright. We just had dinner and then a little kitchen. Okay, here we are on day two. And it's about eight o'clock in the morning. We started at 3.30? Well, we got up, at, got up at midnight. Took us three hours to take down our tents, eat breakfast, pack up our stuff, and start walking. Okay, here we are. Today is day three. We're at about 9,600 feet. Uh, we just walked for the last four hours from our second camp. And uh, here we are at our third campsite. They're probing right now. He's got the long stick to see if there's any crevasses. So he's being belayed in the event he was to fall. Um, so they're going to make a circle around so we'll have our perimeter where we can walk. So, so today's day four and we just climbed for the last four hours from 7,800 camp to 11,000, no, 9,600 camp to 11,200. It was a difficult trek up this last hill. But now we're at 11,2 camp. There's Louise. Hi. Hi. My tent mate so far. We have motorcycle hill tomorrow. And that is tomorrow. Just coming down from the summit. They've probably been climbing for many, many hours at this point. Well, here we are. Tuesday, June 21st. Happy birthday, Mom! Happy birthday! It's also the summer solstice, longest day of the year. Um, so, here we are at 14 camp. I think it's like day 8. We've been on the mountain, and uh, so I didn't video yesterday. Yesterday I had a tough day. Um, at the beginning I was having problems with altitude, and then the second half of the, the day, it's about a five hour, four hour climbing day, I had really bad diarrhea, which is no fun on the trail, because basically you have to go into a plastic bag. Apparently I'm pretty good at aiming, um, but that was no fun, and it made it really challenging. So we did a carry from 11,000 camp. We carried up some food and things that we would need for high camp and basically went back down and slept at 11,000 camp. And then this morning we woke up at 8, uh, we probably woke up at like 5.30 and then left by 8.15 to then climb all the way to the 14,000 camp. We'll spend the night here tonight and then tomorrow we'll go back down to about 13,500 where we left where we left the cache that we did yesterday. That's how it works. You carry up, you go back down, sleep lower, come back up. Eventually, we're going to work up that head wall, which is in the shadow right now. You can see some people, I don't know what they're doing, skiing, messing around. And then we go up to the ridge where that's Washburn's thumb. And then along that edge at the top is where 17,000 camp is. And eventually the summit is up and above and around the top of that. So, anyway, got a little bit of a cold. Not really sure what it is yet. Altitude sickness is a big problem here. So they're monitoring me. But I just had a big tasty meal. And happy birthday, Mom. Bye. Here we are at the edge of the world. First team's going down. 
And we're getting ready to take a peek off to the edge of the world. There we are on Saturday, June 25th. And you can see by the shaking of the tent, we're not going anywhere. It's this whiteout storm outside. It's been snowing nonstop all night. So we're stuck in here. I'm videoing. <laughs> Yay! We made it out of camp. Today's Wednesday, about 11.15. Me and Shavita. Number two on the line. I graduated. <laughs> There's our tents. Well, what used to be our tents down at 14.2. There's a beautiful wall in our... Oh, yeah, there's our Dom. snowman, Denali Dom. <laughs> Let me see my and then there's the glacier way down there. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, we finally made it out of, what was it, eight days down there. We're heading up. Beautiful day. We couldn't ask for better weather. Heading up to the fixed lines. Mm -hmm. 15,500 feet. Mm -hmm. And off they go. Cloud has come in. But it's really warm. It's about 60 degrees. Just had our second break. Tell us where we are. We are at 17,000 camp. We made it in 10 hours from 14,000 camp. Oh. Weather is amazing. Everyone is happy. And A little panoramic yeah. view. It's amazing to be here. Flying above clouds. This hey, is. Yeah. Hey Pete, got uh, two pots of water over there if you need some. Yeah. I already talked to these guys. Oh, thanks, guys. We just had the welcoming committee. These guys came to welcome us in. What time is it? It's eight. Okay. Five to eight. Exactly. It's five to eight p.m. This is how bright it is. We started at 10 a.m. or thereabouts. So here we are. Now we have more work to do. Just a little little break. A couple hours of digging tents. And then dinner. Maybe. Maybe. This is beautiful. Well, so again, we're here Thursday, June 30th at high camp. And that's the view down towards 14th camp. And uh, as it turns out, out of our six clients and two guides, um, only one guide and one client will be heading for the summit today. Um, unfortunately, we just ran out of time. And uh, the rest of us just aren't strong enough to make that push after such a long day, 10 hour day yesterday. I made my decision that I didn't have enough time to recuperate. Typically you would recover here at 17 for at least a day and now they're going up less than 12 hours later and it's tough. Conditions are good um, so we're confident that our our team will succeed. And there's Joseph. He's, he's our representative. Definitely the strongest man on the whole trip. And uh, I feel good. I feel good about making it here. So, there's a bunch of climbers heading up Canali Pass. And that's the start of their probably 12 to 14 hour day. It's pretty intense up here. I can hardly breathe. I do feel like I have the effects of um, mild altitude sickness. I got a pretty deep cough, terrible headache. Again, part of acclimatization if we had more time. But unfortunately, we have to be off the glacier by Sunday, and that leaves us little time to summit, get down, get out. So, anyway, it's been a beautiful, beautiful ride. And, uh, yeah, now we just gotta see that our. our the rest of our team makes it. This helicopter's been searching now for two days for a solo climber. 
bed has gone missing. Alright, here comes Peter and Joseph. They're coming down now. Looks like they're cranking out a 10 hour summit day. I would be willing to bet. <laughs> <laughs> Very proud of them. He's a racehorse. Congratulations. Congratulations. <sighs> 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 All right, honey. Great job. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we just came down from the 17 camp uh, after the summit day, and now we're heading down to Basin Camp at 14,000. There's Mount Forker, and we're just getting ready to go down the fixed lines. So we got to pack up. Almost down to 14. Woo! It was a beautiful climb down through the rocks. Friday, July 1st, about 2.30. Grab that horizontal line. Okay. Going down the fixed lines. The scent. Okay, today's Saturday, July 2nd, and it's day 20, 8.20 in the morning, here at 14,000 camp, and we're doing our final preparations to head down the mountain, packing up our sled, everybody's got the gear with my sled. Well, today is uh, the 21st day of our trip. Today's Sunday, July 3rd. And we should actually be back in Talkeetna right now, but we're not. We're stuck at uh, Camp 1 at 7,800 feet. Charlie here is building a snowman. The girls already made theirs. He's our little friend. He's pointing the bird. Uh, there's Micro Tammy. Micro Tammy! And, um,. Yeah, that's our little creation, trying to stay busy. Here we are, finally leaving, day 23. Today's Tuesday, it's about 10, 10 a.m. We left at midnight. And uh, that actually was a shuttle for um, tourists. But we're sitting here waiting to uh, Get our flight out.